Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use machine learning to summarize books, articles or any large documents that you might want summarized. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is pretty straightforward, so you don't have to have any computer programming skills to do this, you just have to be tech savvy and follow the instructions. Now, what we're going to be doing is using the programming language Python and Jupyter to um, write the code and we're going to be using BERT Extractive Summarizer. BERT Extractive Summarizer is open source and available for free on, well, open source on uh, on GitHub. So I would just, I'll leave the link to the to the GitHub in the description. And I just first and foremost want to thank the, crea the creators of BERT Extractive Summarizer for open sourcing it. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to download and install Python. So just go to open the internet tab and put in python.org, navigate to it, go to download. Uh, do note that I am using a Windows computer. So I'm going to download Python and install it. Now in the installation, you want to make sure that you add Python 3.0 one to the path so you want to check this box right here and then click on install now allow perfect once python is installed you can close it so for some people you might need to restart your computer so now that Python is installed, we can move on to the next step, which is to open up the Windows PowerShell app. So just go to the start menu and type in power and you're looking for this app here, Windows PowerShell. So just click on that to open it. And this console is going to pop up. And what we're going to do is navigate to our desktop and create a folder. And this folder is going to be a virtualized folder, which just means it's going to be isolated. And in this folder, we're going to have our project based in. So just go to the desktop, CD desktop. And in the desktop now, let's create a folder. And we're going to call this folder um, VENV. So MKDIR and then the name of the folder. And then press enter. Now you see the folder popped up on my desktop. So now let's go into the folder itself. And what we're going to do is virtualize this folder, which means we're just we're going to isolate it. And to do that, we're going to type in Python uh, dash M V E N V space per, uh, period, and then press enter. And we're going to going to it takes a bit, so let's let it run. Perfect. Now let's activate the virtual folder by typing in the following. Okay. So it tells me that it could not activate it because my execution policies do not allow me to run scripts. So I need to remedy this uh, issue. So to do so, I'm just going to close this. And then go back to the start menu again and then type in power and the windows powershell app is going to show up and then i'm going to right click on it and run as administrator yes now what i'm going to do is change my execution policy um, set execution policy and i'm going to set it to all signed which means it should trust scripts from all developers that are signed enter yes so this should remedy that issue now I'm not recommending that you should change your policy I'm simply demonstrating uh, how to remedy the issue that I that I that I have faced previously so I'm gonna close this and then just go back to the normal Windows PowerShell app again power so open it up and then I'm going to navigate to the VENV folder. Desktop. 
and I'm going to try to activate it again. So. And you can see it's green, which shows that the folder has been successfully virtualized. Perfect. So now we'll move on to the next thing, which will be to install a string generator. A, st a string generator is just going to be able to, is what's going to uh, be used to turn the book or the, the, the ebook into a string that the computer can read. So we'll just do p uh, pip pip install string generator. Perfect, it's been installed. And next, we're going to install PyTorch. PyTorch is the machine learning library that we're going to be using. And it's also the machine learning library that um, that um, BERT Extractive Summer Summarizer uses. So we're going to do pip install torch. And that should install PyTorch. So it takes a while to run, so we'll just let it let it run. Perfect. It's compl it has completed. So we'll move on to the next step, which will be to install Jupyter. So pip install Jupyter. And we'll let it run as usual. Perfect, so Jupyter has been installed. Now, before we move to the next step, let us prepare the document that we want to have summarized. So let's say you have an ebook or, uh, or an article or a large document. What you wanna do is you wanna copy, open up that document and you wanna, you wanna turn it into a text file. So I'm just gonna right click on my screen, my monitor, and then go to new and click text document. Okay. And open. So you would find your ebook or whatever your document is and copy the text of it and paste it into a, a text file such as this one. So for this example, let's pull some text off of a, a website. So let's go to startpage.com and let's just, let's, Let's pull some text off of a wiki, a wiki page for computers. Say so computers, wiki, and click on it. Perfect. So I'm just going to copy this text. Cop just copy the whole page, um, minus the references. Let's see about here. Yeah, let's just copy it until ignore the future, the future. So let's just copy this control C and then minimize and then paste it into the text document. So, so here I have my text. So I'm going to save this and close it. And I'm just going to give it, rename it so that I can quickly refer back to it. So I'm going to rename it computers. And then what I'm going to do is put it in the, put it in our project folder so that we can, so that the computer can be able to find it. Right. So I'm just going to open up the VNV venv folder and then drag and drop it into it so here's our document that we want to that we want to summarize so like i said if it's a book or whatever just copy and copy and paste the text into a text document as such and put it in the project folder so now we'll go back to powershell and what we're going to do here is open up jupyter so we'll type in the following command 
which is just uh, Jupyter Jupyter Notebook and then let's let it open so it will it will just open your browser and from your browser it will show you the project folder so this this right here is the is the VE NV is this folder right here from our desktop displaying on our in our browser in my browser so from here we'll create a new file and in this new file we'll write the code for our summarizer so just go to new here at the top right corner and click click on new and then click on python 3 to start a new python file so what that does is it opens up a new tab and so now what we'll do is go to the github page for BERT Extractive Summarizer and copy this line right here pip install BERT Extractive Summarizer and paste it in as the first line of our code so and then we're gonna click run now it's gonna take a while to install it but I've already tried this before so it installs pretty fast for me but it's it might take a while for you so just be patient while that runs and once it's done you can type in the next line which is from summarizer import summarizer and then run that perfect and while that's running in the third line we want to specify the document that we uh, want so this is where that uh, that text file that we created earlier comes into play so this text file right here computers.txt so we'll write the following with open and then parentheses computers dot text okay and then we want it as file data So once that's done, we'll press run. And it tells us that it's having a problem with a decoder. So to remedy this problem, let's just specify which encoding it should use. So we'll go back to the line here. And right after the, com the computers.txt file, we'll put a comma and we'll type in encoding equals UTF-8 okay and once that's done we'll press run again and you'll see the issue has been remedied now in now just to just to one more thing so if you don't have a, a long document that you're trying to to uh, summarize like in this case you could also just instead of this line you could also go to the github and just copy this line here body equals body equals and then your text so you would just copy this line here and put it put it in line four instead instead of this line and then you would copy whatever article you're trying to summarize and put it and replace this text with it so but let's keep going since we have our we have re re referred our document now so the next line will be model equals uh, model equals summarizer then run and after that the result so the result is basically specifying what the output should be and if we go quickly back to the github page again we can see that for the for the result we can specify the ratio or we can also specify the number of sentences so we can tell we can tell it how many sentences we want our summary to, to have so let's go back to, to the to our notebook so in this case let's say that let me finish typing in the, the code data in this case I'm just going to specify the number of sentences that it should have and I want a summary that has five sentences equals 
So I'll do equals to five. Okay. And then I'm going to click on run. And now I'm going to print the result. So it's going to, the, the algorithm is going to run now and analyze the computers, the text document and produce five, a five sentence summary of it. And once, once it has those five sentences, this, the print line is going to display it. So this takes, this takes a while depending on the size of the document. So one just has to be patient at this point. So it's, it's done. So you can see, uh, here's my summary, my five sentence summary of the wiki page about computers. So one can also go back to the, to the Sith line and specify that you want ten, ten, a 10 sentence summary now instead of just a five sentence summary. So I'll change this value from five to 10 and then click run. And then we'll let it work. So here we are. Now we have a 10 sentence summary of the wiki on computers instead of a five sentence summary as previously shown. I find that BERT extractive summary does an amazing job at summarizing uh, documents. Now, of course, the larger your book is, or the larger your document is, the longer it's going to take to give you a summary. Yeah. So that that's, that's BERT extractive summary as well. Now remember that you can change out, you can change out this line and create another text document and put that in here instead. Just make sure that it's in the initial project that you put it in the initial project folder, which is this VENV folder. Um, so if you close this, if you close the notebook and if you close windows PowerShell and, uh, want to reopen the project again, you will have to na uh, open up PowerShell and navigate to the um, VNV folder again and activate it. And then once you activate it, once you've activated it, uh, type in Jupyter notebook to reopen it again. So I'm going to post in the, co uh, in the description of this video, the link to the, uh, BERT Extractive Summarizer uh, GitHub and as well a rundown of the of the different steps that uh, were taken in this video. Um, that said, I hope that this video is of use to you and please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment. And until then, I wish you all the best.